on this my shit All the girls don't be feel like this Few times been around that track to them Not just gonna happen like that Cause I ain't, ain't no, no hollaback girl, girl. Ain't, ain't no, no hollaback girl. girl Few times been, been around that track And this is gonna happen like that Cause I ain't no hollaback girl Ain't no hollaback Remember when Nawaz called me a motto choke? Yeah, that was nice. It was wonderful. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Gwen Stefani. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe if you the like button. It's bananas. B A N A N A S. It's bananas. B A N A N A S. I bet I'm the only one who's watching right now. Who's ever been called a marachot by Nawaz Adin Siddiqui? That, that's not true. Who? There are... If you have, let me know, but yeah. I think you're a liar. No, anybody... He's a sweetheart. Well, anybody who was in the cast of Sacred Games that he said it to who may watch OSR... They don't. How do you know? You think... Did he ever say it to, to our dost? Which dose? We have a lot. Pankaj, the dose, the one who originated. No. The first one to ever call us his dose. They just had intercourse. They did. And it was lovely. I watch it every night. Today we got a uh, top 15 fielding efforts in cricket. So we got a cricket video. Uh, what, what position were you in baseball, by the way? The, I played every position in baseball, but the positions that I played the most were second base, shortstop, and left field. Uh, my favorite position to play was either short or second. I, I played short the most in softball. I was a better second baseman in baseball because of the depth of field. I uh, heard you were a good power bottom. A better shortstop is taller than me. Like Derek Jeter. Fuck Derek Jeter. He has, why? You have a problem with Derek Jeter? Yeah, he's on the Yankees. Or was. Not anymore, obviously. Oh, wow. Great fielding. Oh, dang. Oh. Stop that thing. Stop that thing. Yeah! yeah! Nice. <laughs> A little dramatic there. Steve Smith is like a jack in the box. See him in the slip region in test matches and anywhere in the one day game. Yeah, I don't know that he had to do the flip. <laughs> he wanted to make the highlight so reel. So much momentum. Yeah, he wanted to make the highlight reel. No! Oh! <laughs> that was good. That was great. Brilliant. And if you're running and not paying attention, you're probably out. Good pitch yep. and catch. That's exactly what happened. Oh, nice throw on the hop. Nice throw on the hop. We're going to a rave. Need some glow sticks. <laughs> Uh, nice. Oh, was that, a, was that a double play? Does that work like in baseball? If he catches it on the fly and the runner left the box, he's out? Yep. That is, isn't it? That's two I outs right so. there. He's like, I'm going to do everything on this uh, play right here. That's a terrible angle. <laughs> is, that a, is that a hat cam? What was that? Yeah, does the ref have a hat cam on? That's what that looked like. High fly ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice job. Nice job. No, no, no. <laughs> that smash straight to the man. Oh, no. It was <laughs> Oh, nice job. Wow. Way to keep after it. <laughs> wow. Nice. Did oh. that not hit the fence? That's not what that's called, I know, but the boundary. How did that not hit the boundary? Dang. Wow. Way great effort. Punk is there. Oh, Punk, he's done really well. He's done really well. Nice. He stopped, uh, 
six and given away two. Ouch. Shardell Bradford. Remember the name. Well, the boys did play well. What a great throw. Wow. Ow. Jeez. That was a remarkable throw. How the heck did he hit that? Oh, what a catch. And he stayed in bounds. Are you kidding? You should just posterize that moment right there. That was amazing. Yeah, that could go on a poster. Stay in bounds. That was amazing. Stayed in bounds, too. It's crazy. If what we would do our rave. If we would have touched the sideline, would he have been out? I think it would have been a four if he touched the sideline. Oh, jeez, didn't even see it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, he did play well. Crazy. That's amazing. Oh! <laughs> like a cat! <laughs> oh, and then they got it out there! Dang. Oh, he just stopped it and then they got the out, but still, that's like a cat. <laughs> What a great throw. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not even on the ground. He had no part of his body on the ground. Incredible. Just ridiculous. These are some of the most incredible plays I've ever seen. The ball, the end team on the run, it's not an easy catch. Oh, oh he does everything he can from oh, oh, The best catch you'll ever see. <laughs> Did he get it to his teammate? Throws it back 30 meters, and the catch is taken. Dang. Wow. That's a heads up play right there. The greatest outfield catch ever taken. Dang. Race will round the wicket. Straight up the air. Now then, has he got enough for the center running round? Oh, Whoa. What happened? I take it, but unbelievably. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Behind the back. With the left hand, too. I don't know if he's a left hander. He's just falling over the boundary. He's flicked it back. Dang, almost on the ground. Incredible. Careful, your sweater's going to get dirty. <laughs> yes, is white really a good choice to no, play on grass? It's probably not. Yeah. Oh, India fielding here. Oh, oh, oh. Show it to me again. Nice. Ouch, his tailbone's gonna hurt. No kidding. He might have pulled a hamstring too. Ah! That was incredible, but the one where he caught it and threw it to his buddy, I think would have been number one. Posterize that moment, though. Yeah, the, those are some good plays, man. That 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 was a great compilation. Right I've never there. actually played baseball outside I'm, I'm with by with like a team. Obviously, I've played pickup baseball, obviously, but like I've never actually played. But I imagine f outfielding would be a fun position. 
It is. Um, for it's, it's just you realize in baseball when you walk out into the outfield, you realize how much ground you have to cover. <laughs> There's so much space. Out There's there. a lot of ground to cover to be a speedy guy. Yeah, and you have to have an ins- incredibly powerful arm. Um, like I had a really good arm, which is why I was good at second and I was fast. So that's why most second basemen are typically the smallest guys on the team. Mm. And I was almost always the smallest guys on the team. I was the Altuve. And you need, I had the glove and a good enough arm to play shortstop. I can do it in softball. I'm absolutely great at shortstop because it's about the same distance as second base. But for the spots in the hole that are between short and third, you need somebody who's long and got a great arm. Like, like a Derek Jeter, somebody who's over six feet tall. Derek Jeter's six three. Um, most short stops are at least that in the in the modern era. Mm-hmm. They were smaller back in the fifties and pre. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Anyway, you, you'd like that because you're a football player, so you soccer football, so you'd like to cover the cover the ground. Well, running. No. Because uh, people that have a lot of stamina in soccer usually play mid. Midfield, and those are the ones that go everywhere. I was right. I was a forward. Okay, so you didn't so have to go I, I, as far. Obviously, you run, right? But my primary my primary um, position was forward because I had a really good leg to score the goals. And yeah. those are usually the people that are scoring the goals. Yeah. Obviously, mid kind of does everything. Yeah. But I didn't have I don't have the overall stamina. Never have um, to do because you you're basically running the entire field the entire time as a mid. Right. Uh, and I I'm good at really short spurts Got especially it. as a young kid i was really really fast um especially at sprinting um so th- i was much much better and i could kick with both legs as well um, nice so i was i was always even though i'm dominant right foot uh my father stepfather who primarily coached me my entire life who was on the junior olympics team here when he was a teenager hmm. so if <laughs> if he didn't uh knock up his first wife he probably would have gone to <laughs> Gone to the Olympics. Yeah, gone to the Olympics. So yeah. So he always made me train with my left sure. foot. So then I became. So like basketball players, they need to be good on both sides, right? Exactly. Yeah. The other thing about the outfield, you have to be really mentally tough. Yeah. Because you can get bored. Yeah. Because when you're in the infield, every pitch something's happening, and you're always ready. Your glove is down, and you need to do that. But you have to be more mentally prepared to do that. It's not something that you're in circumstances that make you do so it. So I can never be a goalie. It's too boring for me. Yeah, you 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 actually might not like the outfield. You much you might prefer third base. Yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. Anyways, well, let us know about other cricket videos that we can react to down below.